Friday sessions quick tip and today we're going to be looking at uh, a bit of a follow-on from a tutorial that I did a couple of weeks ago on uh, transition anywhere I'm still trying to get used to um, this YouTube thing so I'll try and link the video up there somewhere um, so let's jump straight in so this is what we're going to be trying to create today if you remember when we did transition anywhere we were transitioning from one video to another using a mat and it's this kind of smoky reveal that we're going to be looking at creating today. So we'll be using After Effects for this. I'm going to create a new composition, make sure that it's the same size as my screen in disguise, uh, the correct frame rate and I'm just going to make it fairly short. 10 seconds is probably too much, let's just make it 5, here we go. So we're going to create a new solid and make sure that it's white and then grab the pen tool and just create a shape off screen which should come up here as a mask so it's going to be the mask expansion that we're going to keyframe if we do that you'll see how that moves across our window and this is giving us our white to black like we were using last time so generate keyframe I'm just going to turn keyframes on for that and then move my playhead to the end of the file and there we go that should do as you can see if we go in the middle it's not quite the effect that we were looking for but at least we can see that it's expanding properly over the course of five seconds the, the way to generate the complexity to the edge of the mask is uh, by using effect, uh, turbulent displace, so I bring that and apply that one, add a little bit of a feather to that maybe, let's see, let's, let's try with that and we'll come back to that, um, we turn up Here we go. So it's a combination of using the feather mask and uh, the dis uh, turbulent displace amount. And then the size will, so if you go um, really low on the size, you just end up with like a soft edge. If we sort of set that in the middle somewhere, that's pretty good. And then the displacement amount can give you um, it like changes the hardness of the mask which depending on what you want could, um, could give you kind of an interesting different effect but somewhere around that so let's make that like 160 and we just play this again from the start of the video that kind of works. The one thing I'm not quite happy with is just right here on the right hand edge we're seeing we're starting that's going to snap on when we use that in disguise so uh, if I just grab my mask and we should be able to move this back a little bit and then let's just check that it still fills the frame when we it doesn't quite fill now we've still got some dark areas there so we can just increase the mask expansion for this keyframe perfect okay so now we're going to render out 
going to use a preset that I've previously set up for uh, Notch LC. And just throw this on the desktop. Great thing about Notch LC is it renders so quickly we don't, don't really have to do a, a cut in the tutorial while we wait for that to go. Excellent. So let's grab the file on the desktop and put that into my disguise project folder. Video file. Here's some of the masks that we created in our um, last tutorial. I'll pop back in. So as you might remember, our um, mask files are on a different timeline. This is the one that I used to demo right at the start of the tutorial. So we'll just replace that. And we'll use the one that we just created, which I've called tutorial mask. Reset the speeds and check that. I think that should work pretty well. I'm just going to rename the note at the bottom here so that when we set this up, it gives it the right name. And go back into our main timeline. And here, it's, it's still got that selected, but if I, if I hadn't, I could. Um, right click on the timeline get to tutorial mask and then we just have to test it out so video A and then as we advance to the next section we get that lovely smoky, smoky reveal great hope that's been helpful and thank you for watching we'll see you in another uh, Friday sessions quick tip thank you